The following data are from a completely randomized design. Treatment A, sample size 6, sample mean 156, sample variance 164.4. Treatment B, sample size 6, sample mean 142, sample variance 131.2. And treatment C, sample size 6, sample mean 134, sample variance 110.4. Part A, compute the sum of squares between treatments. We need the overall sample mean for this, and that comes to 144. And then we use the formula provided in the textbook to calculate the sum of squares between treatments as 1,488. Part B, compute the mean square between treatments. So we simply take the sum of squares between treatments and divide it by its degrees of freedom, 2, and we obtain 744. Part C, compute the sum of squares due to error. So we use the formula provided in the textbook and find that the sum of squares due to error is 2030. Part D, compute the mean square due to error, divide the sum of squares due to error by its degrees of freedom, and we obtain 135.3. Part E, asks us to set up the ANOVA table for this problem and essentially what we are doing by setting that ANOVA table up is calculating the F statistic so to save space I'm just going to write down the F statistic and we just divide the mean square for treatment by the mean square for error and we obtain 5.50 for the F statistic and part F at the alpha equal 0.05 level of significance, test whether the means for the three treatments are equal. So we need to find the p-value for that F statistic. And if we look at the F table, where we have two numerator degrees of freedom and 15 denominator degrees of freedom, uh, there's a couple of percentiles that are of relevance here. There is the percentile that leaves 0 0.025 in the upper tail, and that's 4.77. And then the percentile that leaves 0 0.01 in the upper tail is 6.36. And our F statistic is in between 4.77 and 6.36. So therefore the p-value, which is the upper tail to the right of 5.50, is going to be in between 0 0.01 and 0 0.025. So given that the p-value is less than 0 0.025, it's certainly less than 0 0.05, which is our significance level. So we reject the null in favor of the alternative. So there is evidence that the treatment means are not equal.